Hello everybody, this is Brandon with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion here with your Lightworkers card pull. And today we have the Four of Pentacles. So with the Four of Pentacles, um, a lot of times this can be, you know, um, security. It also can be, you know, being too secure, holding it too close to your chest. Um, but I'm actually intuitively getting a completely different meaning today. So I'm going to give it to you because I do read intuitively. We see uh, she's standing on these two pentacles here, right? She has this one here, which is close to her heart, this one here, which is close to her head. What I see this as is this is inspiration for all of you that are looking for the path to follow. The way that we follow the path the best way, especially when we're living limitless, which means we don't have a, a preconceived notion of where things are going. Why? Because if so, we're following somebody else's path, you know, to quote Carl Jung. No, we need to make our own make our own mark in this world because we all have an authentic expression. And truthfully, that's that's one of the reasons why we have a lot of resistance. That's the reason why we have a lot of issues is because people don't know how to follow their authentic path um, because it's been hidden for quite some time. But essentially what we do is you always move to the next best thing. So she's standing on these. These are things, the, these are the gifts from her heart, right? She's getting ready to place down the next one. That way she can take another step forward. And then this right here that's in, in the mind, you know, when, when we do our daily mindfulness practice, the mind becomes like a scalpel in the hand of a surgeon, not a broadsword in the hand of a warrior, right? It's a much different precise thing, right? Um, so then that idea can sink down into her heart after she places that next stone down. And then the cycle continues and she moves forward and forward until a whole new path is paved a whole new way of doing whatever the authentic expression is, is, is shown to the world. And everybody can learn and grow from that. That's the whole point of life. We do this by coming into connection with spirit, coming into connection with source. And we do that by treating our body as a temple, removing the resistances such as um, the emotions, the mind um, resistance. Um, and we learn how to process that through our nervous system. Therefore, we can hold service in our temple. It doesn't matter what faith you have. That's exactly the whole point of life. This is universal across all faiths and people who understand any of the faiths that currently exist to the strongest depths, that's where they end. So what, what I can recommend for you today, keep making those steps, your next best thing from your heart, and the next idea will come. All right, everybody, I hope this is inspirational. I hope it gives you some good feedback. Um, if you want to schedule a session, send me a message, stay mindful, and have a great day on purpose.